Hey, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create an account in AWS. So to open a new instance, first we need to go to aws.amazon.com. Remember in AWS, your uh, instance is nothing but server. Okay, uh, they call that as instance. Anyway, so uh, just go to uh, aws.amazon.com and hit on sign into the console. Once after you hit on that, you get this screen um, asking you to log in. But of course, first we need to create an account. So you need to hit on this create a new AWS account. All right. Just hit on this create a new AWS account and it will ask for email ID and account name. You need to give uh, any email ID. You can give your Gmail or Yahoo email ID here and give some AWS account name. You can change this later. You can just give some uh, account name here. So you can see that uh, I got an email from AWS. Just copy this, put it in this and then hit on verify. Now you see that my email has been successfully verified and it asks me to give a password for this root user all right there are two types of users root user and iam user we will see that later but uh, first you need to give one uh, password for this so let me give the password and once after you give that uh, you have to hit on continue step one or five there are simple five steps that you need to complete to create a server okay so we will see uh, how to uh, do that. I hit on continue step one of five and uh, then uh, it will ask me uh, for a few details. First is whether this is for business or personal. You can select whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, then your full name uh, followed by your phone number. <clears throat> You need to give plus 91 for India and then select India as the country. And once after you give all the details, hit on continue. And once after you finished step two, uh, you need to enter your uh, credit or debit card details. Please do not worry. AWS doesn't uh, charge anything. It is just for the verification uh, purpose. Of course, they will be charging two rupees and again deposit it back to your bank account. So once after you fill all the details, then you just have to mention whether you have a pan or not. And if you have it, you just need to mention it and hit on verify and continue. So once after you are done with that, uh, then you will get an OTP to your mobile and you need to enter that OTP in this page. Uh, as I mentioned, they are going to charge two rupees, but again, you will get it back to your bank account in three to five days. All right. So once after you enter the OTP, hit on submit. And uh, once after the verification is done, you will get this page. Sign up for AWS. Uh, for this, again, you will get a text message to your mobile. So you need to first select the country and then enter your mobile number. And uh, then finish the capture verification as well. And then you will get a message on your mobile. Just take the number and re-enter here. Hit on continue. So your step four has been done and then it will ask you which support do you want. We just need basic support which is free of cost and then hit on complete sign up. And uh, it says congratulations. Uh, go to AWS management console. Hit on that and it will ask you uh, for a few details if you want you can give it if you do not want that's fine but let's select uh, maybe uh, a student or a system admin and then interested in whatever you want and hit on uh, submit it says thank you and you can just hit on this sign into the console all right remember this is the place from where you can log in and uh, operate your free windows machine all right okay so you will get two options root user or iam user it is always the root user now give your a root user email id that you used while uh, creating the account and hit on next give the password click on sign in all right 
So now I am inside the console. In the search, just type EC2. All right, EC2 is the name that they have given to their uh, instances. All right, so just hit on EC2 and then hit on this uh, EC2 first option, and you should be able to go to your uh, instance dashboard. Oh no, AWS has to finish the verification, and for that we need to hit on this button complete your AWS registration. So once after I hit on that, you can see that again it is showing me congratulations message. And uh, if I hit on that, go to console, uh, it will again take me to the sign in page, right? So we need to wait for some time, uh, maybe three to four hours. And then if we come back, uh, we should be able to log in successfully and go to the place where we have all the server instances. So in the next part, we will see how to launch our own server and how to install the algos in that server. Uh, you have the link in the description. Please click on the link and uh, watch part three. Thank you and have a good day.